Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Writer's House. Thanks for coming out. Uh, we've spent the whole day with Nasser Hussein. I think we should start. We should start by putting our hands together for Nasser, who came kind of way out of the way. He was from here from, yeah. Um, he, he's in Leeds, lives in Sheffield, teaches in Leeds, and he's on a month-long fellowship writing stint time uh, in Ontario, um, in Windsor. So um, we're really excited. Uh, some, uh, some of us, including people in this room, have spent the day listening to Nas read from his new work and also talking with him, which has been just such a delight. I'll tell you a little bit about him, and then he'll read, and you're in for a treat. You really are in for a treat. Um, among his critical work is a piece called Bodies of Information, Cross-Border Poetics in the 21st Century. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Nasser is going to read from this book. And so the issue of cross-border poetics will become clear, really, really clear. Well, I don't know if it'll become clear, but it'll be, its relevance will be clear. Um, he has um, produced a great deal of wonderful, especially recently, creative and conceptual writing. Um, currently, one of his current projects is called Playing with Playing with Fire. And the real, ti the real title is, there's a guy named Nasser Hussein who's a cricket player, and he wrote a memoir called Playing with Fire, and this Nasser Hussein is writing Playing with Playing with Fire, Nasser Hussein Playing with Playing with Fire by Nasser Hussein. Anyway, I think you're going to read a little bit of that. Yeah. It's also another project called The Life of Form, and it's a project in which he composes autobiographical poems about poets who write poems in forms, such as the Sestina and the Pantum and the Sonnet, I presume, in the form that they, the other poets created. Okay, and that's cool. And hard. Um, and the third uh, of the projects that I'll mention is this, and we have some copies, and already people have bought their copies. You have to have Nas inscribe it. He inscribed mine when we saw each other in Montreal not too long ago. Um, fat inks love Nas. All three letters. Now, why is that? Because this book only uses, as its words, the three-letter abbreviations, the three-letter abbreviations of airport codes, the three-letter airport codes. That's it. And so he inscribed it with... Is there an airport code LUV? Yep. Okay, there you go. I would like to be hanging around the airport. Um, and we've just had such a great time. We had a poem talk today. We made a video. Um, it's just a delight. This is your first time to the writer's house. And you've not spent enough time in Philadelphia, so we hope that this will be the first of several visits. Please, once again, put your hands together. Oh, I got something else to say before we put our hands together. Not only are we selling books, but after the reading, we're going to have a really nice reception, lots of food and drink, and Nas is nice. Nice is Nas, and you'll get a chance to meet him, which is a great pleasure. So, okay, now's the time to give Nasser Hussein a warm welcome. Last year, when Coach House Books told me that they were interested in the manuscript, I thought it couldn't get any better. Um, and, and then I was asked to be writer in residence at the University of Windsor, and I thought, it really just can't get better than this, can it? Right? And then Kelly Writer's House asked me to come and um, share with you and I'm pretty sure it can't get any better. Like, this is it. This has got to be the top. Um, I'm, I'm immensely grateful to Al and Kelly Writer's House and UPenn um, for inviting me and hosting me so generously. And uh, I hope that this reading is some small uh, recompense in, in your favor. <clears throat> um, so like, poetry readings are tedious, but um, 
what's more tedious than a poetry reading with a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I do this mainly um, because some of these poems require some visual aids. And uh, I work under, uh, I've started working under constraint. Um, and when you work under constraint, um, much of the game is in pattern recognition. Um, so there's a set of letters. This is not an eye test, although you may find <laughs> that you need one if you can't read it. Um, but all of these letters um, share a very special relationship. I hope if I haven't made any typos. Um, I'm sure one of you um, was a vandal in high school. You were a vandal, obviously, yes. Um, um, had a compass with a sharp point that you used to carve your name into a desk. What's your name? Matt. 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 Matt would work really well, wouldn't it? Because with your fist clenched and a sharp point protruding, M A double T is quite simple to draw. Nasser, on the other hand, <laughs> presents some problems when you get to the S and you have to do the kind of lightning bolt, kiss, kiss rules kind of <laughs> approach to typography. Um, so I'm going to warm up. Um, with some poems that I call Poems I Can Write with a Knife. <clears throat> uh, this one's kind of for the one percenters. All right. It's called Making It. Now, again, the constraint is straight lines. Making It. Email that fax my way. I'm late. Win win? How naive. If I net that wealth in Kenya, I'll tax all Italy. Hint, hint, we weak. We mainly mean that we win. Nix him, eat that. Flay milkmen. Hate famine, eat the fat. Hey, wait, I'm fat. Hit Zen men in kilts. Hey, I felt that. They flex, we flee. Take the mantle, mate. I'm away that week. I mean, let me exit. Uh, again, under the same constraint. I was thinking about like in this project. I'm thinking about like cuneiform and the and the slash as a kind of prime in tool of inscription. Okay, this is called take that meanie. Um, it's for a political leader that y'all might have heard of. Ahem. What? Thine eye may wink a hex lamely. My eye view with manly flame mainly. Why, my man, knew I then what I can in my time? Why, that fane may make me con. Hey, kneel at my anklet. Exult at my mane. Emit fealty in enmity, that anthem a hymn to me. Inflate zeal till it max, film a talkie, myth me till I'm filthy wealthy. Lawmen, make it mine. Tax ten mil men, ten mil yen, a man at a time. Till I, affain, till I attain infamy. Uh, we spoke a lot today about like how and if it's possible for conceptual writing to connect with what I might call irresponsibly canonical traditional poetry. Um, I keep going back to Walt Whitman for reasons I can't understand, except that the constraint pushes me that way. And of course, as it turns out, Walt Whitman is entirely done in slashes. <laughs> a ninja up here. Uh, this is a, a naive Walt Whitman. My wit, my me, 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 me. 
my yawn, my myth, my you, my elm, my teak, my flax, my ivy hewn with flint axe, my wax, my wane, my thin veil, my hanky when I'm X. I am a new Yankee. I am a lazy man. I make little new. I make new little. I like lean, lithe, lanky men in a lake, all wet. I thaw at that heat like Kelvin, like flame in my flank, if I may. Yankee men, we, we make me many. Layman, laity, all in name, I itemize all. Wait a while, we may yet make amity in flame. I go back to the classics. I always go back to the classics. Um, <clears throat> Maybe hand in hand with Whitman is uh, my my love of Moby Dick, and uh, I carry the whale with me at all times. Um, uh, this is called White Whale Tale, and beautifully, you can have the homonym either way <laughs> um, under this constraint. <laughs> White Whale Tale, and the first line, the first line? Okay, this is my version. White whale tail, name me what I am. Native man, my wife. Inlay teeth hewn, hazy white veil. Eat meaty fat. Aha, fate. I am inky at the helm. Aft, I envy in vain. Wet men faint, they melt in latex while they ax the flax helix. My Vietnam, my manly venality, what naivety, well met nil whale, have at thee whitey, I hate thee like hell, while evil, evil fez men hew at the flank. Three timely mental finale, whelm neath whale. Now, of course, um, what you're left with uh, from this set of letters are these. Um, and this is the sort of appendix to the poems that I can write with a knife. This is a poem I can write with a spoon. Oh, I need a drink before I do this. <clears throat> a poem I can write with a spoon. Bop cop gob dug our sue. Gorp core drub spuds. So rob pubs buds, prod rugs bros, cog bods, cusps docks, cause pros dub bergs. Dogs bus rub. Rub scud orbs, scrub gourd jugs, pub cop sobs, saw drugs, sup bud. Subgroup jog ups, curb pro drug crops, corpus opus dour bogs, us groups drop jobs. Poor grub soup, poor, gr poor, poor crud cups, judo suds, burp curds up our gobs, erp. Scour prods our bod jobs. Poor bogus drops, so sour our cups. Cubs curb, pugs bud, bug god, proud bro, or go do. All right. Um, I have very uncreative friends in the UK who go to borders, pick up this book, and send selfies of it uh, to me. Um, it's a 500-page autobiography. Um, when I, if, should I publish the entire book that I have in mind? 
I'm just going to Photoshop my face onto that cover and republish it. Um, but in the meantime, this is a, a chap. This is a mock-up of a chapbook that should be coming out in the next month or so. Um, it's called "Playing with Playing with Fire" by Nasser Hussein, by Nasser Hussein, in which I remix his autobiography into mine. Um, so no word that you're about to hear is mine. It's from this book. Um, the section I brought today is called The Field, um, and it is, uh, and the, the publisher, Al, uh, sorry, not Al, um, Sam Riviere in, uh, in, I believe he's in Durham in the UK, has a wicked sense of humor, and every chapbook that he produces, he has a new little logo for it. Um, and this one is um, The Crickets, um, because... Nasser Hussein was a cricketer. Um, the word cricket shows up quite a bit in his text. And when I was a child, the crickets would sing outside my window. So part three, the field, is every instance of the word cricket in his autobiography, and no more and no less. Uh, I have it committed to memory, but I'll read. <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricketing, cricket, cricketing. Cricket, 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 cricketers, cricket. Cricket, cricket, crickets, cricket. Cricketer, cricketing, crickets. Cricketers, cricket, cricket, cricket. Cricket, cricketers. Cricketers, cricket, 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 cricket. Cricketers, 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 cricket, cricket, cricketers, cricket. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Cricket and cricket. Cricketers, cricket. Cricket, 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 cricketers. Cricket, 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 cricketer, cricket. Cricketing. Cricket, cricketing, cricketing. Cricket, 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 cricketer, cricket, cricket. I'll move on. <laughs> I'll move on in the narrative. Because I got bored, as you are. <laughs> um... Here's an interesting passage. <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. Cricketer, cricketer, cricketing. Cricket, 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 cricket. Wicket, 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 wicket to wicket, simplistic tactic, wicket. Wicket, 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 cricket, crickets, ticket, tickets, cricketing, cricketing, cricketers, wickets, nick, wicket, mix, cricketers. Cricket, cricket, tricky, jacket, cricket, technically, optimistic, cricketer, hickey, quickly, cricket, cricket, picking, Dominic, cricket, 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 dick, cricket, picture, cricketers, wicket, tactics, perfect, erratic, wicket, cricket, cricket, tactics, stick, tactical, cricket, cricket, 60, wicket, instinct, cricket, tactically, tactics, cricket, cricketing, kick, kicked, Kicked cricketers, cricket. Sticking cricket, picking Jiminy cricket. Picked cricket, wick, typical wicket, cricket, quick cricket, cricket, kicking cricket, quick. Cricket, wicket, wickets, picked. Cricket, cricket, thicker, thick skinned cricket. Thick skinned article, stick, quickest kick, victory stick or twist. Picked article, cricket, 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 quick, kick, cricket, 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 victory, victory, cricket, wicket, kick, kicking, fantastic, cricket, affected, cricket, cricket, nick, cricket, wickets, cricket, 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 pick, trick, ticker, kick, tricker, cricket, hat trick, cricket, 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 dick, cricket, 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 dynamic, cricket, cricket, tactics, antagonistic, cricket, 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 pick, cricket, 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 cricket. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, you know what? Does anyone, do you guys have pieces of scrap paper on you? We can get some. Could I get, if there was any scrap paper in the room, you, and you got to not love it, but um, um, anything you've got, anything you can make a paper airplane out of. Um, I should have set this up earlier. Hopefully it'll get here in time. 
hard to make a paper airplane out of. Just one? No, no, no. Bring, bring a few. Bring a few. Give everyone some paper. I want you guys to make some paper airplanes. When was the last time you made a paper airplane? Really? Because, like, if I had my choice, it, uh, one, one of the little dumb projects I want to do is make a YouTube mashup of every instance in a television show or a movie where a student throws a paper airplane at the back of a teacher's head. Because um, that's, right? Because it's always funny, isn't it? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter who does it, what context, but a paper airplane sailing through the air, right, at the back of a teacher's head is such a lovely moment. I've had it happen. <laughs> really? Okay, well, while the paper's coming, I'm just going to do a tedious look under the hood of sky writings. Um, this is what I spent the last couple of summers doing. Um, and uh, just pass them around. Um, and this is a spreadsheet. It might be a little hard to see, but um, it is all of the airport codes that qualified from A to Z, the city name, the name of the airport, the country it belongs to, and the latitude and longitude um, plotted to like six decimal points. Um, because when you get your hands on the book, what you'll see is that many of the poems have um, a map on the verso side. Um, those maps plot a fictional flight path um, that, dis that is equivalent to the poem that you're reading. So they, they're the same thing. Um, it's a long and tedious process, um, but I guess that's what this kind of constraint requires. Um, oh, I'm so excited that you guys are making paper airplanes. Um, I, I haven't got any insurance, so if you put somebody's eye out, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, those spreadsheets turned into these kinds of documents um, that are scattered throughout the book. Um, and it would be a real pleasure if you guys just, while I was reading, threw some airplanes around. Um, just, just completely disrespect <laughs> the, oh, Rachel, you need some help. <laughs> I don't know if that's aerodynamic. <laughs> it's, and it is, it is like a return to childhood, isn't it? Like. The, the muscle memory is almost there. Um, so I'll start from the beginning, because the text kind of teaches you to read it. Um, and I'm very happy to read over the sound of you guys folding planes. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome aboard. No smoke in. Buckle up. Um, I gave the first poem in the book to uh, Orville and Wilbur Wright, um, who many, I I'm not sure if you knew this, it was news to me. They wrote a book about building the first airplane. Um, and this, this poem is a redaction or translation of the first sentence of their book about building the first airplane. It's called Kitten Hawk. Though the subject of airy isle navigation is generally considered new, it hath occupied the mind so man more or less from the starts. Thank you. Keep throwing them. This is all I want. Uh, the next poem is uh, my first attempt at writing a word. So, air travel is migrat ion or migration. Uh, writing this book was also an exercise in pattern recognition. Um, alphabet, uh, A L F A A H B E T, 
alphabet is all of the airports with triple letters um, organized alphabetically. It's really, I don't know how to read this one, but I'm going to try. Uh, uh, g g g Oh, mm, pa pa pa, rrr, s, t t t, u, why why why? It's very silly. It's very silly. I'm glad that you laugh. That makes me so happy. Um, another sort of sound poem. Um, o o. Every airport that begins and ends with the letter O. Obo, Ogo, Oho, Oko, Olo, Omo, Ono, Opo, Oro, Oto, Oxo, Oyo. Um, and out of the pattern recognition and sounds, um, narrative begins to emerge. Um, stories. Um, top tip from airplane paper airplane makers, it's throw and refold. Always like you can tweak it if it doesn't work. Stories. <laughs> I don't know, grab another one. Um, stories. The asp bit Cleopatra. Abe may axe Isaac's arm, but jaw let Abe off. Anu can fly. Anu is a Babylonian sky god, which I was blown away by. Anu can fly, and Auk can fly. Eve cannot. Eve ate the apples and saw the lie. Dave got computers, but Hal cannot say yes. I'm going to move forward in the book. Uh, <clears throat> this, is a, this is a constraint that only I care about, but in every, I, I promise you now, in every book that I write. It happened in my first book, Boldface, um, and happened again in this one. But I'm going to write a poem for Muhammad Ali in every single book that I write from here on. I don't, I don't know if it's possible, but it, that's, I'm committed to that. And luckily, Ali fits into my knife constraint, so I'm still good. Um, this one is my Ali poem in airport, coems, in airport codes. It's called Box Dreams. Ali Bu Ku Kluks Kalun KKK. Ali got mad. Ali got bad, man. Ali flow. Ali too and Ali fro. Ali box foe. Bam his ear. Bust dat lip. Dip and dap. Sly mid mat. Tip top pro. Ali had him D O A. Ref. Say one. Say six, say ten, say TKO. Um, we talked about this one this afternoon. This is a uh, this is going to be a challenge to read too. But um, I managed to rewrite a page of Tender Buttons by Gertrude Stein. Obviously, um, this is Tender Button for Gertie. Roast a cow, instead of roast beef. Roast a cow, mutton, break act fast. Sugar, cran beer, ease. Milk, eggs, apples, tails, lunch, cup, rhubarb, single, ish, cack, custard, pot, ato. Asp ara goose, but ter, end off some er, saw sag s, celery, veal, vegetable, kukin, chicken, pass try, curry eum, cuke um burr, dinner, din din, eat, sal ad. Saw says salmon, ora nj, cook koa, 
and clear soup and oranges and oatmeal, salad dressings and an artichoke as enter in a table. It's about, as much as it is about poetry and writing, it's also about the sky and travel. She fly. Her hodge was tough. Her chi was low. She was way far off due to GPS map errors. She SMS her bud for aid. Say, can you see Mara Lagu? Delayed for hours. Old magazine, old bookmarks, old T wo. At last, tack off. Cut for Jeddah via Bombay. Long hauls, seat tilts, cut leg room off. Buckle up, coming in for the landing. Ah, Kaaba. OMG. This one in French. Because, <laughs> like, you know, it depends. Uh, I guess airport codes depend on English, but they don't, do they? Um, ap raise vous. Psst, mon ami, tu es fou. Um. I won't, I won't put you through the cat the hat, but that's every airport that appears in Dr. Seuss, um, the cat in the hat, <laughs> um, a redaction poem, as it were. Um, I can ask if you'd like chicken or pasta. <laughs> um, oh, the pound one. I forgot about that. Poetry is news that is new. Petals on a wet black bow. <laughs> There's a naughty poem in here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to read it then. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this is going to go over, but okay. Desire. Desire. Not Mrs. Mum nor Ma'am, Tisk, Tisk, Virgin, Sin. A me, a mo, fab bed for gay men and les coitus. Wow, rug. Say, ah, oh, oh, bun fun, pat bum, tug nut, pad bra, sub dom, tut tut rod, her big boy, amo, love art. Er, um, shy act. Dom emo, hee hee. Hug. I'm a tap dat. <laughs> Yikes, that's risky. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite opening line, not just in this book, but maybe in any poem I've ever written. Uh, this is called Bodies. B O D I E S. Bro, abs age. Jab the gym guy. See? Abs ale. Lat jut. Nut lip. Ill sack. Tip top toe fat. Hip hop gum jam. BMI bod. Buff gut. Tap sag. Maw pox. <laughs> He's earn fit. A little memento mori in there. Um... How are we doing for time, Al? Okay. Um, and we end at? Ten minutes, five minutes. Okay, cool. Um, here's the Whitman poem. This one's a lot easier to follow. <laughs> for Walter Whitman. Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. Barbaric yop. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Very silly. I'm so glad you're laughing. That makes me happy. Uh, 
Okay. This is, I think, maybe Al's favorite in the book. Um, and for you, I read Islamophobia. I-S-L-A-M-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. It's the longest word in the book. All the reports. Islamophobia. USA, 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 Twitter haters, Mac Yam, America, Greece.